cella. I like that. The yeah. first cella. Yes. That's right. The other yeah, like cellas are going to be like, like the first hey, violin, the first oh, cello. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Of course. Yeah. I mean, you would go to yeah. violin. First cello. Kind of ruins that's... it. That's the. I mean, it's. It oh would be a no! Cello, I'm like that's cello. A... I I get it. But you said violin. Cello. Why would you go to violin? I'm a cello. Yes. Be- wait, Sorry. because there isn't a first cello. There's only a first <laughs> violin. I'm saying there should be a first well, cello, and it would be technical. the feminine. It would be the feminine. It's the feminine version of the word cello. And therefore, it's first cella. And yeah. she would, it's like all these violins, but this cello is going to sit right there, and the conductor's like, yeah, that's right, there she is. Actual so is our first cello. I was cello. talking with some friends. What were you going to say, Pep? Nothing. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> that's not so true. So I was talking He's with always, some friends. He always has things he wants to say. You were talking to some friends. Well, about the season. And I, and I was ta- giving examples of what the artistic offerings might be. And when I got to poetry, they're like, ah. Uh, they're like, no. Really? Because it's hard. They're like, yeah. like movies. There's no, there's no uh, anxiety doesn't rise up into me. They didn't have that same response, but they're like poetry. They're like, mm. I just don't get it. Yeah. And I think you need to get some new friends. Well, that <laughs> that's beside the point. I didn't that's, name any names. I, maybe, I, any maybe, names. maybe they won't listen to the podcast when I said that, or maybe we can edit that out. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It is true. It's hard. Go ahead. It's hard. And like a couple, even reading the poem as Kingfisher, what is it called? As Kingfisher's Catch Fire. Even reading it was difficult for me. Like Mm -hmm. finding Mm -hmm. the cadence. I felt like I was saying, even in my mind, though, putting the emphasis on the wrong place, it it was work. Mm -hmm. But two things you guys, each of you said, okay, um, Pep, when you said the T.S. Eliot thing, like it will communicate to us, poetry will communicate to us before it is understood. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and then, Kurt, when you said the poem isn't worried, mm-hmm. like, so there's an abdicating or there's a relinquishing of of the pressure almost because... Mm-hmm. It, it's it's encountering it. It is putting ourselves mm-hmm. in its path, in mm-hmm. being in front of it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, it made me think of an episode, a previous episode where it was, I think it was the domains, where it's not a math problem to be solved. Like, mm-hmm. is it our right or left brain that tries to solve things and understand mm-hmm. it and shrink mm-hmm. it down and conquer it? Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. there's no conquering here. Like, yeah. You can settle yeah. into the not knowing. Yeah, I think that's. I think that the whole sense of of welcome that that that, that part mm-hmm. of beauty that mm-hmm. is welcoming. It's it's hospitable. It's not like welcoming you in so that you th- and then placing like shame filled demands. Right. I yeah. think in some respects it does place a demand on us in that beauty is. Like it's not, it's not going to apologize for itself. Mm-mm. And so in order for us to encounter it, it does place the demand of like, here I am. Mm-hmm. I'm not making any excuses. Mm-hmm. I'm not. And so in that sense, like you're going to, you're going to have to work. Right. right. I'm giving you the opportunity to work, to grow, to become something. It's not like you need to meet a benchmark, right. but I'm mm-hmm. calling you to become more than who you are as you work to understand me that I'm not going to apologize for. And I'm also like, it's not like, well, you need to do this by the end of the day. Yeah. There's no time. Or I'm not, or I, or or, or I'm going to go away. Right. Yeah. Well, and we've talked before about like life is work and about the, uh, I, it's probably not the best word, but like it's the right hard work. Like it Mm -hmm. is, Mm -hmm. The, it's no question there is work involved in what we do, however, what we spend our time on. But this kind of work is the right hard work, mm-hmm. right? And I love the four W's because it gives kind of a structure. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. watch for this in mm-hmm. the three R's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I laugh well, because if Kurt has to read something six or seven times, then I'm in a heap of trouble. 
Well, no, like Pep. I mean, or what we were saying, or like we were both. You were both saying this this notion that, like, you know, when you when I initially encountered the poem, like the very first time, uh-huh. you're reading things and you're like, it it is it it kind of like, yeah, kind of disorienting you're, you're, almost. And and it, and that and that's its intention. Its intention is to, yeah, it. It prevents me from uh, applying all of my previous assumptions mm, about the mm-hmm. way things are supposed mm-hmm. to work. On I'm just gonna f- I'm just gonna map that onto you, the poem, and then you have to fit my expectations yeah. and my my sense of the way the world works. Instead, it's like uh, it's shaking that up. Yeah. 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 It's shaking yeah. that up, and so mm. that and and frankly, like okay. The word bow. I don't even know what that means. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know the word bow is bow and arrow. I know the word bow is rainbow. I mean, all these things, right? I had to look it up. And I discover, oh, there are parts of a bell mm-hmm. that I didn't know that a bell has. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and the bow is a particular part that the clapper hits. And, 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 and so when I, I'm like... Oh my gosh! Bow my gosh! Mm-hmm. Did you say bow my gosh? Yeah, <laughs> he did. Yes. That was that have was a well played so, card. Have you ever yeah. seen a kingfisher? I have never not seen, so live. Seen I mean, a not picture. like in, not not yeah. in nature. Okay, so we have crested kingfishers here in Kentucky, and they're oh, really? so yeah, they're so fun to watch down at the, especially when they're fishing on on a lake, right? But the common kingfisher and the um, belted, blue, the blue-eared kingfisher, and okay. the um, uh, oriental dwarf kingfisher are some of the most beautiful birds. You, I mean, the colors are like incredible, right? They're yeah. they've got these yeah. these deep deep blues and these like metallic greens, and their chests are like mm. golden. Like and so you could see where just on one level, as kingfishers catch fire, a kingfisher flying across the sky ca- gathering sunlight is going to look like it's on fire. Yeah, right yeah. on. But it's just doing and, its thing. It's just. And being then if, if you get yourself. into this poem being like a metaphor and be, you know, there's so many different levels, right? There's yeah. like that may be your first understanding, but then if you keep reading it and reading it, you may learn other things. And I, I you know. Um, uh, if it if it's if that you know one of the commentaries that, that um, w- was saying that um, it it is a uh, it could be a, a, a metaphor, gosh, if, um, a metaphor for us coming into our true selves, right? Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. so I start thinking about Kingfisher Catch Fire, and the first one of the first images that came to my mind was when Coleman was just kind of becoming a young man, my son, mm-hmm. and. Like like his coordination started to kick in and 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 all those things and as I as I watched him I remember very specifically mm-hmm. if I, the first time running across the pitch and like really getting it and going after it and I'm like a kingfisher's catching fire right there <laughs> oh my right? gosh uh-huh. and so, that's awesome yeah yeah and so so that's the kind of thing that I think poetry can do it can bring up stuff mm-hmm. in you mm-hmm. and and memories in you and um, make you just sit and think differently and think about things yeah. that you maybe w- hadn't thought. I don't know. I just, that's what I like about it. It's yeah. hard, but it is to it's your hard. point, Amy, and your friend's point, <laughs> it's not easy. Mm-hmm. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not the but easiest it is form of it. art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. And I can't yeah. wait. I'm looking forward to next week about Ansel Adams. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, me too. All right, guys. Thank right, you guys. so much for today. This was a great start. All right. Yep. yep. Next week. Next week. It's going to be here sooner than you think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>